2024 Street Glide in Burst Blue. We're gonna have that brand new redesigned cast aluminum wheel, that chopped nice look, which I absolutely love. One thing I really like about this Street Glide. Rain, road, and sport mode. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're here in Las Vegas and right in front of me, we've got the brand new Harley Davidson 2024 Street Glide in Burst Blue. Um, absolutely beauty. We spent the whole day riding these bikes throughout the desert, through Lake Mead and a few national parks. It's been amazing. I really wanted to kind of spend a lot of time on it, spend a lot of sea time, see if it was gonna be comfortable, see of the powertrain um, and just, everything in its origin now obviously this being a 2024 this is a brand new model everything is redesigned really happy with the design uh and how harley davidson is is changing things and and taking it to the next level now you're gonna see here redesigned in the front obviously is bat wing fairing with the inlets on the uh, on the side um those are gonna be led led lights in the front as well looks really really good now further down in the front we're gonna have that brand new redesigned cast aluminum wheel 19 inch in the front 18 inch in the back absolutely beautiful if you look out throughout the bike you're gonna see that the brand new tank is gonna have these lines shifting through it uh, those same lines follow out throughout the side panel and onto the bags bags are redesigned more of a bubbly feel on the outside um, and then towards the back we got that chop nice look which i absolutely love i love the new look of the bags the cvo lights which i thought were only going to be for the cvo but they actually lended them over down to the uh standard model so led new lights in the back as well now this seat spent all day on this seat I could honestly say that for a stock seat, it's pretty comfortable. Pretty, pretty comfortable. I have no, nothing bad to say about it. I got off the bike, had no back pains, no butt pains, nothing at all. I felt really, really good riding the bike. Now, one thing I really like about this Street Glide is this pullout tray right here where you're able to store your phone, your wallet, whatever it is you want to have in your pocket, and it goes right in again so it's not like before with street class didn't have any pockets to store anything now you do um now for the gas tank is going to be right in the middle lift this button up everything lifts up right there put your gas in put your cap close it back down you're also going to have an option of getting this bike in chrome the way it looks right here and also in that blacked out version another new thing to add for this year obviously are the grips the grips actually feel really nice we don't know we no longer have those smooth uh grips that you know all the bikes had so now they kind of have a nice little design on them nice little grip they feel great controls are going to be the same exact controls that you're going to find on the 2023 cbo that we saw last year um a lot of stuff is going to take you a little time to get used to uh the volume button now is going to be on the right side as opposed to the left before but as soon as you spend a little time on this bike spend a few hours hours riding it here and there you're gonna find yourself accustomed to finding where all the buttons are at you're also gonna have this 12 inch screen here in the front it looks absolutely beautiful uh, you're gonna have three settings for that so you're gonna have it in a sport mode a torn mode or if you just want to see the your map on the whole screen you're gonna be able to do that really really easy to use really user friendly is right in front of you as well um, now sport modes sport modes you're gonna have rain road and sport mode every mode feels differently i would highly suggest for anyone to throw a leg over it throw the uh, take the bike out for a ride test every road out see what see what you like the best music is also another thing that has been revamped for this year so last year we had a 100 uh watt amp this year they moved it up to 200 sounds really good sounds clear really like the the, the way the, the the system sounded this year now if you can look further down obviously we got a 117 on the engine packing a lot of torque this thing is amazing if you guys have been riding any of the motorcycle that has a 117 whether it being a low rider s low rider st rogue Ladder, whatever it is it is going to feel just like that just a little different on this one very special the heads are liquid cooled so now you're going to have um 
that heat that we used to kind of get before, you're not going to get that anymore. So that liquid cool is going to start working from the back cylinder, going towards the front, keeping everything super cool. We've been out in the weather out here. It, the weather was really nice around 60-ish or so, but even on the older models, you were kind of being able to get a lot of that heat. You're not going to get any of that with this right here. Brand new redesigned air cleaner as well. Pretty nice. Me, I would obviously swap it out. I would kind of add my taste to this bike and obviously build it out to my, uh, to my liking. Anything new? else that I miss? I am not sure. I think we kind of covered everything as well. Now, you're not going to find that little uh, side fairing they're going to have on the road glide. Obviously, it's a different different way different design um but if you want to take a look at a few little things that i'm going to post up right here you guys got to uh, get some ideas of what you can do to this bike look at the harley davidson catalog order some parts make your bike look special different from the other ones out there i think we pretty much covered everything anything else that i missed i probably covered in the other videos that i've done so if you haven't seen those make sure to tune in like comment subscribe and hit that bell button it's going to notify you anytime i upload any type of new content and before I let you go, let's talk about pricing and power. So pricing, this bike is going to come at $25,999. But if you want it with this Burst Blue, I think it's an additional $850. Um, this year, obviously, the base paint is no longer black. It's going to be that billiard gray, which, let me tell you, in person, looks great on the uh, on the bigger models. On the soft tails, not that great. But being that we have more surface on here, the color looks really nice. Um, as far as power, we're going to have 130 for 130 foot-pounds of torque and 105 horsepower coming out of this 117 Milwaukee 8 engine. Anything else you want to know, I'm going to be probably linking up some stuff down below. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.